This is our first full day at one of the 333 islands that make up Fiji. We're currently staying at Malalo Island where new and first experiences await us. Our journey unfolds with stargazing into watching the sunrise, trying new foods at breakfast, hiking to the highest point on the island, snorkeling along the coral reef, and watching the sunset over the South Pacific Ocean. Now, we're about to explore. So let's see how it turns out. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at it. Whoa. Y'all, we just found out something really cool with my phone. You can take pictures in astrology mode and they look gorgeous. It's 5.30 and so we're about to go out there and take pictures and hopefully get some really cool night shots. We're excited, let's go see some stars. The sun's coming up. The sun's coming up, the stars are going away. What's your first sunset review? 1,000 out of 1,000. I'm gonna wake up every morning for sunset. It's just never just a beachy time. I wake up at 3.30 every morning. I love it. We just had our first sunrise and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was so gorgeous and we didn't know where to look because there's like the spot where the sun is actually rising, there's behind it, there's the left of it, there's the right, there's so many different angles and viewpoints and I was just bouncing around all over and admiring every single second. Yeah, like I just want to like take this, all the images and put them in a bottle and just keep them with me forever. It's so pretty. I love that. <laughs> Let's see what the day has in store for us. I know, it starts off great. It's gonna get even better. Let's go. Y'all, it is so pretty. It is. Like, every time I see the sunrise, I look in a different spot, I'm like, amazing. And I look again, I'm like, gorgeous. <laughs> it's just indescribable. Honestly. All right, so we have the original hand-picked mud crab omelet with chili and papaya relish. Avocado on toast. Ooh, that one sounds really good. Basic. <laughs> hey, it does the job. <laughs> so the menu that Becky went over had a lot of options and I asked for recommendation and I was like, should I just get the avocado on toast? And then she's like, you can get two. I was like, this changes everything. So I got avocado on toast and then I got a Benedict as well. Breakfast review. The buffet offers a variety of nuts, fresh squeezed juices, pastries, fresh coconut, nut butter, cheese, and an array of fruits. On our menu, we have fresh coconut, fresh squeezed orange juice, papaya, passion fruit muffins, more passion fruit right here, and pineapple. I had never seen a passion fruit before. I had to ask later. So we have a passion fruit uh, muffin, and it's the passion fruit. Uh, fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, what is this? And she was like, passion fruit. And I was like, oh my god, I feel like a dummy. And then I'm glad she told me this was papaya because I've also never had papaya before. <laughs> so, we're trying a bunch of new foods today. I've never had fresh coconut, like out of a coconut before, so this is so exciting. One, it's very heavy. Oh. It's so refreshing. It's fruity, but not very much. It's almost like a... a Tea, kind of, you know, like a refresher. And it's not like cold. It's like above, it's lower than room temperature, but it's not like ice cold. It's delicious. Alright, third time's the charm. Say it. <laughs> it has like a little hint of hot dog flavor, but it's a melon that tastes savory and not sweet. My body's confused. First bite, my eggs been mm. That's delicious. So this one, I want to eat like a breadstick, but right at the end of place, so I'm going to use my utensils. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Let's dig in. Alright, let's eat. Mm. That was delicious, and now we're gonna go for a hike. En route to the hike, we encountered Selassie, who directed us to the trailhead. We also had inquired about flying our drone there, and they gave us the green light. Let's go. Look, it has a cute little sign. Okay, they don't even do that, but that looks really nice. And then it just looks up. <laughs> If 
you're going up. We're gonna get a pretty good aerial. Oh, look at it already. Wow. Well, that's like a little teaser shot. This <laughs> <laughs> looks like a. <laughs> it's fun looking. <laughs> so I think we're almost at the point of this mound or hill, I guess. Mountain. But over there is where we are. And then you can also see the other side of like the end of the island over there. This is pretty cool. We found Jonah's lookout <laughs> and we're about to fly the drone for the second time ever. Let's check out what these views look like without trees in front of our vision. I'm excited. Two, one. <gasps> oh my goodness. Those views were just stunning. I didn't even expect to get like a full 360 of the island when you can on the drone and I'm just like so giddy because that was amazing. Second flight, best flight ever so far. <laughs> Man, it's gonna be tough to beat this one. <laughs> Honestly. It's gorgeous. From the, like your regular perspective, you just can't get that bird's eye view. It's gorgeous. Yeah, very. And now we're gonna go check out this mangrove swamp that's a little bit farther down. I feel like we're about to stumble across a hidden immunity aisle. <laughs> I know. Let me start searching. Mm -hmm. Just hit the mangroves. Look at their roots. Isn't that so cool? They're just so deep in there. Are mangroves a plant? Mm hmm Oh. It's a type of tree. Where their roots like grow like into the water. And so they like... I forget how they do it. Something like there's really low oxygen in water and then they're able to like pull out oxygen being really deep into the water. Pretty neat. Who knew? I had no idea what a mangrove was. Really? <laughs> no, today's years old. Whoa, I'm pretty sure I did a project about them in college. <laughs> it's only with parks and recreation, man, I tell ya. All right, y'all, we made it to the entry point hopefully this cave let's go explore <laughs> y'all this trail is the best one that we've been on so far like you just keep going up and now you can just see like a whole panorama of the ocean and it's gorgeous very so many blues so many islands you can hear the water crash the birds chirp <laughs> All that fun stuff that makes hiking yeah. even better. I'm in love. I love it. Like this is just so beautiful. And it, we're like on a peninsula now, so we can just see there's water on all three sides of us. Wow. The sun is beating out way too much on us and we need to reapply. So we're gonna head back down and then probably go swimming. Yeah, and then we'll go snorkeling. <laughs> During our first snorkeling trip, we faced the challenge of foggy goggles. A quick YouTube search led us to a clever hack to prevent this issue. By applying non-whitening toothpaste onto the goggles, repeating the process a few times, and then rinsing and wiping the water away, we were pleasantly surprised to discover that this technique worked quite well. This particular snorkeling trip turned out to be our favorite one yet. So, what did you think of snorkeling? Dude, it was a lot of fun. You just, they just plop you in the water and you go with this guide and he's like pointing out things. I was like, what are you pointing at? But it was really cool. It was very peaceful and relaxing just to be in the middle of the ocean. You can feel the waves like just go and topple over you. <laughs> but like you don't really move too much, you know? Like yeah. you just like kind of swayed. And then like when the sun came down, it really like lit up all the colors. There's yeah. so many different colors going on. 
but I do know we saw a box fish because our guide was very excited about it and we saw well I didn't see it but there was a shark mm -hmm. now we're going to go for a sunset hike right yeah we're gonna rinse off get changed and go for a little hike as our day drew to a close, our sunset hike provided a fitting finale even though we practically sprinted to catch the sun setting in time. This is easily the best spot on the island to catch the sun setting and we had it all to ourselves. Watching the sunset over the South Pacific Ocean served as a flawless conclusion to an unforgettable day.